welcome to this week's vlog. So this week's vlog is about assessment. Now assessment plays a prominent focus in schools and with education systems worldwide. However, one of the most prominent things that comes from assessment is not necessarily that it's always related to learning and improvement and progression. Instead, assessment is used, is used as a determinant of a grade. So for example, if you get a grade A, then you are successful. Or if you achieve a level six, then you've got a way to progress in order to get to level 10. The point is that in, in terms of assessment, it's always the grade that matters, rather than the quality of the feedback or the descriptions of what happened. Now in physical education, we might suggest that if the aim of, of physical education is to promote the physically active life, then we need to be thinking about how we assess with that in mind. And is a level, a grade or something most effective in order to help someone engage on their physical activity journey. So in this vlog I'm hopefully going to give some ideas about how we can assess and how we can support, use assessment to support young people's engagement in the physically active life. Now I'm going to take the idea that if we say the um, four learning outcomes of physical education that are proposed to support engagement in the physically active life, being physical, social, cognitive and effective, then we should be using assessment and aligning it with those areas. So I'm going to give, uh, highlight some, some considerations and give some examples of how we can tailor assessment to promoting the physically active life. So one of the key things to do and a key consideration would be to identify the observable learning behaviours, to use a phrase borrowed from Dean Dudley. Now if we're going to say that the physical, social, cognitive and effective are the learning outcomes that we want to promote in order to promote the physically active life, we need to consider what learning outcomes they would be. Perhaps we could present them on a continuum. Rather than having levels of one that is, is uh, not so good and 10 that is great, we might present them on a continuum in different journeys that people go through. So for example, people might, children might initially start off with just working with peers if we're assessing the social domain and then they might begin to develop leadership skills and leadership qualities which and even the term leadership could be broken down into observable learned behaviours. So I suppose the key point is then if we're going to focus on um, promoting the physically active life and use assessment to help with this, then we need to be focusing on more than just the physical and considering the cognitive, the social and the effective learning outcomes. Now some key ideas to help with this might involve the use of target setting and developing children's understanding of physical activity beyond school. So the example on the screen is an example of a target that students might set themselves to engage with physical activity. The Create Development Wheel is also a useful wheel that acknowledges the four different types of learning outcomes. In this, students can either peer assess or the teacher can assess, and we can begin to identify how they are progressing in different learning domains and areas that perhaps need some development. We might also begin to use Blend Space, and this is just an example of one online digital tool. Now blend space might be useful in that it allows teachers to keep a track record of their students' progress and it allows students to track their own progress by posting videos or photos in a kind of lesson format. So I would encourage people to have a play around with that. And also considering technology, we have the Assessment Pro application. Now this could also be useful in terms of it enables you to capture videos and ascribe them to students' names. Again, keeping a record of students' progress rather than the level. So I suppose the key, key argument from this is that we want to think about physical activity and development in physical education as a journey, rather than having a clear start and end point or a point of excellence. Because excellence would mean different things to different people in, their, in the way they are physically active. So. I'd encourage you, these are just some ideas, I'd encourage you to consider how you assess in the four learning domains. And with assessment for without levels being a hot topic in the UK at the moment, I'm sure lots of people in the Twitter community and YouTube 
would welcome some other suggestions on how they might begin to assess without levels. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I'll hopefully see you in a couple of weeks.